For every week that the strike goes on, it could be months in delays for us getting our, our, our products. Store owners already feeling the pinch as tens of thousands of dock workers at major east and Gulf Coast ports continue to walk the picket lines for a third day in a row. Now, with no deal in sight, there are new concerns the strike could drive up the prices of food, cars, and other goods. Experts say consumers might also see price increases and shortages for the holiday shopping season. But as KDK's Chris DeRose reports, the message to the public is remain calm. When it comes to imported goods at local stores, experts say now is not the time to panic buy. It's the first major strike of dock workers at East Coast and Gulf Coast ports in almost half a century, and this could mean shortages of imported products on U.S. store shelves. At some local stores, like this Walmart near Greensburg, they're already seeing shortages of things like toilet paper and paper towels. It's just crazy. There's no toilet paper. There's no paper towels. People are going crazy again. It's just everyone needs to relax a moment. In fact, according to Jason Miller, the head of Michigan State University's Department of Supply Chain Management, 90 percent of paper products like paper towels and toilet paper are made here in the United States and are not affected in any way by the slowdown at the ports. So what products could be affected by the strike? Chief among them, produce, but moreover, bananas. More than 75% of U.S. bananas arrive at ports handled by the striking International Longshoremen's Association, this according to the U.S. Farm Bureau. Other food items that could be in short supply in a few weeks include things like cherries, cheese, chocolate, and sugar. And imported beer, wine, and spirits, including rum and scotch, could soon be scarce. Some imported cars may also be harder to come by, but this would only be after the U.S. stockpile is depleted, which could take several months. I think people are soon going to realize those products are made here in the States, thank goodness, and those should be restocked sh you know, soon. So hopefully people will soon realize and calm down and only take what they need, because then we won't have a shortage if you only take what you need. Of course, only time will tell just how long the dock worker strike will last and what effects that strike will have for consumers here at home. Reporting in Greensburg, Westmoreland County, Chris DeRose, KDK TV News.